In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best routes with one of the best motions in the game that's really going to help open up your trip side in offense and give you a lot of different things that you could do with it. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It's free to subscribe. We do daily tips and tricks here on YouTube. If you want to learn my entire Trips Tied In Offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. The link to sign up for that is in our description. It's only $10 to sign up, and it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all the updates to those ebooks while you are a member. We have nine offensive and defensive ebooks, and we have another one coming out this week. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, the link is down below. All right, guys, so the play is P slot corner. I know big shock, but I want to show you something with this um, that is really, really good, okay? So what we're going to do is, you know, just against the main, it's, it's, it's not just for man. We're going to show you how you can, this will literally, I think, transform your offense in a lot of ways. Um, and the main reasoning is because of this, a uh, couple reasons, but because of the way this route works, if you look at this route um, to Keenan Allen, it is a, you know, it's basically like a slot apprentice post, but it's a little sharper. Um, it's kind of like, honestly, more like a Pat Sale type of post, okay? Um, and so what makes this so good is the fact that this route, when we motion over, is going to become essentially a really sharp cutting corner route as you can see here really sharp cutting corner route and I can pass lead that to the outside and you know you see there he's open against man I just suck at pass leading okay um, so I can pass lead him to the outside really easy now the problem is if I want to set him up and why would you want to set up the route well a couple reasons um, sometimes it can actually be a little bit more consistent if you let him set his feet um, it's better against zone if you let him see his feet you see there he kind of got like buck or uh, bumped and then kind of thrown off and the problem is to basically let him set his feet I have to motion him over and then like let him set which he's gonna be all the way out on the right side of the screen he's like way out there right so it, it's there's not a lot of space for him to get open that's the biggest thing he still does but there's not a lot of space for him to get open so if you're playing someone smart what they'll do is they'll just put a zone over there so like they'll just they'll just literally um they'll just literally put the zone over here so if i'm gonna let him set let's say i do a route combination like this you're gonna see that this guy is now in a zone and i can kind of get it there but it's it's not it's not perfect by any means okay so what i wanted to show you in this example is something you can do from trips tied in that i think is really unique so um not a lot of people more people know about this than used to um so it's not like a secret but there's a lot of new people that might not know about this tip so what you want to do is you want to instead of motioning to the right it's only for this receiver here in the trips it's the second slot or the the middle trips receiver it's only for him that this matters and it really is uh, i'm pretty sure it's only in trips tied in formations okay but if you motion him to the left you see how i can motion the right but i can also motion the left if i motion the left you're going to see he's going to go to the spot right here now this is specific to trips tied in and it's also specific to the fact that the ball is on the left hash mark so my trips are to the short side of the field is this also um, affects this okay to the short side of the field so now what you're going to see here is he's going to have a lot more space and I could do something like smart route him and make him go a little sharper, a little deeper. And if you watch here, you see he absolutely can cook that cornerback if they're playing man free or cover, cover, um, cover, whatever. Now, something kind of crazy that you can also do with this is kind of an interesting little technique here because there's because he's so tight to the tight end. I'm gonna put the tight end on a flat, and then I have Allen on this um, this corner. Watch this. You see, they can kind of like create natural rubs for one another. That time they weren't able to do that, but they can kind of create natural rubs for one another as well. Depending, it, it, some of this too um, does depend on the defense that you're facing, right? It does. Um, but but anyway, this is how you turn this into a really nice route combo because now let's say that I was running gun tight or bunch. I could put a streak right here and now I have a clear out route for an example coverage that you'll probably get 
is you'll probably get covered too. A lot of people that I play when I run trips tied in, they like to put a cover two to the um, to the sideline there. You'll see that this corner route can get over the cover two. You saw there he was wide open over the top of the cover two. It's just the practice mode has, for whatever reason, literally provided people with the best sheds I've ever seen um, this year. But anyways, what you'll see here again, you can smart run this guy if it's a first and 10 or whatever. It makes him go a little, little bit deeper. Um, you know, but you see, look how deep that corner gets. That gets super deep down the sideline. Now they're going to be forced to maybe drop like an outside quarter. So let's say it's cover four drop. And the beauty of this route is you can pass lead it in a lot of different directions. So like here, this is cover four drop. Okay. And what you'll see is I can actually pass lead this down and outside to the sideline. And now he's in a position where, again, like I said, you can kind of manipulate the zones. So you don't necessarily even have to have a streak. Like it's such a sharp cutting corner route. It's, it's, it's not exactly a slant out. Like I've seen slant outs. It's not exactly a slant out, right? But it's 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 pretty good. Um, pass lead down and outside. I'm not going to freeform that way. I can actually complete it. Um, but as you can see, very effective. So it's very effective against zone. It's very effective against man. Um, this corner route is one of the best routes in the game against man this year. Let me show you cover two with the sharper corner route, like not smart routed. And what you should see here is again, see how I can pass lead that into a spot where only my receiver can get it. And the zones aren't really going to affect this one way or the other. Uh, I think this is one, like I said, one of the hidden gems of trips tied in that not a lot of formations offer is the ability to have the best routes in the game, but also the best routes that can be motioned in different routes as well. I think, you know, this is really good. So here's cover three. Cover three is probably going to do the best, as you saw right there. Um, cover three is going to probably do the best, but cover three has a lot of vulnerabilities. Um, a lot of different like in a different way so i'll show you. you you still can especially if you put this backside post i find that putting this backside post to the solo receiver or to the outside trips receiver uh is really helpful but what you'll see here just kind of pass it down and outside and you see how it kind of puts it into a tight into a tight position uh like i said though i think cover three probably will defend this the best but if you if you simply streak um if you simply streak your tight end so now maybe we run a setup like this, right? You should see here, he'll still, he'll be able to kind of catch on the sideline a little better. Part of this also is because of the one, four, six cover three is kind of the wrong, it's the wrong way, if you will. You know, so you'll see here, like if I have the cover three over here now, uh, you should see that again, the sharp corner route, because it's a sharper, like the route to Carter would never be the third without a streak or without a pull route. Um, but this route to Allen will, because it's sharper, um, and that time it actually played okay, but you saw if they're gonna go zone, like if they're really gonna go with a cover three, we could just throw the corner out on the right side, okay? But this is just a really simple little play that I really like to call. And you can do a couple of things with this, right? So like, you don't just have to run it this way. Um, the beauty of this motion is it opens everything else up for your offense. So like, let's say, like, let's say, let me give you a scenario. Um, let's say we want to run our tight end on the, cor <clears throat> on the corner. We're going to motion this guy across, put him on the streak. Now, now we have a clear out for our tight end. And then, you know, you could do something like this or whatever you're wanting to do. And now you see that now my tight end has, of course, um, Everett's not too super fast, but um, he has a better chance. So like verticals would be a great example. It's probably a little better example from verticals because the corner route is a little sharper to the tight or significantly sharper. So now you're kind of getting that something like this. Like this is a really good little play. That sharp corner route from the tight end will get under the third a little better and it will also still get over kind of standard zones. So that is the secret motion and you can do a lot with this. Like especially when we start to get like slot apprentice and stuff, you can do so much with this motion. Um, so yeah, not going to spend too much more time on this, but like I said, I just, I really think, you know, really try this out, give this a shot, um, especially against the man coverage stuff. And uh, you'll find that this is one of the best plays in the game for beating man to man. Thanks for watching uh, the video. If you want to get our full trips tied in offensive ebook, 
make sure you join the Patreon down in the description below. It's only $10 to sign up, get you access to all the eBooks, all the updates. And like I said in the intro, we plan to release our 10th eBook this week.